Thank you. So up next, we have Marilee Malwitz Gibson. She's been uh, working with me against fracking for a very long time and working against Disabled Trail for a very long time. And um, she's here with, um, as a campaign organizer with Sierra Club. And she's going to talk about complaints and violations um, that are filed against Sable Trail and Florida Southeast Connection. Yeah, Kim and I and many of uh, others here, Doug, uh, we've been working uh, to ban fracking in Florida, and uh, we hope that you help us with that this session too. So. Um, yeah, I'm here, you know, I had a lot of things to say. I'm just going to um, talk regarding uh, the violations and noncompliances and the variances that we're seeing on this pipeline corridor. I am a campaign organizer. I deal with water quality mostly in the state of Florida. Um, and so this is definitely on my radar. This is a construction uh, of a 36-inch gas pipeline, roughly... Uh, 685.5 miles. I want to, you know, we're talking about facts too. Um, Shannon talked about them early on. This pipeline stretches from Alabama through Georgia into Florida, and it, uh, the total of it is 685.5. A lot of times you'll see it reported at 515. So it's really just sable that they're talking about. And the pipeline is the Florida Southeast Market Pipelines Project. It's actually five pipelines. We hear three often because the three are just basically the long ones, which is the Hillaby expansion out of Alabama, the Sable Trail, which starts in Alabama, goes through Georgia, goes into Florida, all the way down to um, Martin County area. However, when it gets to Osceola County, it breaks away into something called the Florida Southeast Connection, and that's a relatively long pipeline, but it's all in that same 685.5 mile long pipeline. And then also, when it breaks off into Osceola, in that area, more or less, there's something called Hunter's Creek. Hunter's Creek. It's another pipeline. That pipeline will probably feed Disney World, by the way. And there's another pipeline um, that's going to go from basically Martin County, I'm sorry, Martin, uh, Marion County, which is below Gainesville, Ocala area. And that pipeline is the Crystal River pipe. And that pipe, interestingly enough, uh, you've heard a little bit about um, LNG a little bit here, uh, briefly. That pipe will probably be a feeder pipe not only for Duke Energy, which um, is going to have a gasification system down there where they're gonna, they were going to have a nuclear power plant, now they're going to have gasified. However, there's an LNG export facility called Strom that's being built over there on that coastal area. So. So that's what we're dealing with. So, so while I work with people often, all day long, um, I have been encouraging people to go out and what I call witness. I come from the Bible Belt up in North Florida, so I sort of use those great words, witness. So um, I, I ask people to go out and look at the construction corridor, stay on public land, stay on the public right away. It's a very uh, dangerous thing these days because yesterday I just found out there was another arrest. So we have 25 arrests um, on the pipeline corridor as of yesterday. Gentleman was out there on his horse at the Tapata Tastanaki, which is in uh, Don Ellen, and he had been photographing the trail from the beginning of the construction, monitoring it just like most of us are. And uh, something went terribly wrong and the police arrested him. So um, we're still trying to get feedback on what that was about since it happened um, so quickly. But, but the point is, stay in the public right away, um, take photographs, videotape. They, they don't like it. They'll come up to you and videotape you and harass you. I don't know how many of you have seen me being harassed in some of my videos, but they come right up in your face and you know want to pressure you. Don't be daunted. It's, it's, it's a private company eminent domaining public lands, basically, private lands, but public. And, and we have every right to be witnessing them destroying Florida. So um, something I have found uh, in this week, again, working with people, we have workshops, and we've been trying to encourage people to go out and witness these violations and noncompliances. Um, and something we discovered this week, it wasn't really a discovery, but we rediscovered, is something that Shannon's already been very much aware of from day one. One of the few things in this ERP, this 
Department of Environmental Protection environmental resource permit that was required by Sable Trail to actually go um, and do this construction job in Florida. One of the few things in here that actually says it, uh, the permit can be revoked, revoked, I mean stop construction, stop it now, is turbidity. And I find that fascinating because turbidity, what is turbidity? Well, turbidity means like when you're in the water and you're stirring up in the ground and you're walking through it and the sand is coming up and the water gets a little murky. If somebody wants to hand me that image right there, I'd appreciate it. And it gets a little murky in there and the water column gets full of sand. That's turbidity. Doesn't mean when the water's brown from tannin. So on this bottom image, right here, you all know it. You all know what turbidity is. Sable Trail is making our water turbid. Yes. They are doing this daily. They are required, according to this ERP under my arm, they are required to monitor that and report those findings to the DEP on a regular basis before, during, and after. We are not seeing that. We are seeing some monitoring. Oh, well, you know, there's some. There are 704 water bodies that are being impacted by the Sable Trail construction. 704. If they're doing before, during, and after through the entire length of the construction on a waterway, and they have to do um, studies at the top of the water. If we could, uh, I apologize. I normally bring an American flag, and I did forget at this time, but it's usually do we do have our American flag? It's across the street. If we could stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, I'm starting to see it in the dark now. Flag blood, right? Pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. If we could remain standing, we always uh, have a moment of silence, usually for various groups that help our uh, society. Uh, if we could have a moment of silence uh, for this country and for our democracy, I hope that this election has woken some people up and that Democrats are going to come out fighting in upcoming elections. Thank you. I believe Gretchen has passed around the meeting minutes. Uh, if you had a chance to take a look at them, it goes over. Does everybody have a copy? Does anybody need a copy? Do we have a motion to approve uh, November's meeting minutes? Motion. Do we have a second? Then it seconds it. Uh, all those in favor, say aye. Aye. Opposed? And the minutes are passed. Thank you. Our financial report, Jim is our treasurer, Jim. Uh, just real quick, we started the month with $955.81 and we ended with $559.75. Thank you, Jim. And if you uh, want to renew your membership for the upcoming year, I believe. There are membership forms on the front table if you want to pay for 2016 or you want to pay for 2017. So again, individual $25, family $40, student, senior, or military is $15. Uh, and so uh, you can get that. Our new membership person is Teresa. She's going to be taking over. Glenn uh, has done a great job. He's passing the, the gavel over to uh, Teresa so she can help you with membership. Uh, do we have uh, any other officers' reports? Uh, we, had, we had an election. Um, and I want to commend all the candidates who ran uh, locally as well as at the state and, and national level. Uh, we, did have, we did have some bright spots. Uh, Dexter Sharper got uh, re-elected re at, the, at the local level. Joyce uh, Evans was re-elected at the, at the local level. Marcus Marshall. Uh, Richard Marcus. Uh, he, was, he went to ballet. Okay. Uh, got, got, um, 
not up for election. He's, he's continuing. Uh, did, I, did I miss anybody? Ashley Ball. Ashley Ball elected as, as sheriff. So we kept that in the Democratic hands. Uh, Chris Pine switched parties and did him in. So uh, again, want to thank everybody who volunteered. Uh, we had a good cohort of volunteers, uh, people to uh, drive folks to the polls, people to make phone calls, uh, people to uh, in the in the precincts. We had coverage, uh, election uh, poll watchers in every in every precinct. Uh, we had the people to witness the opening of uh, absentee and early early ballots, uh, as well as the. Uh, military provisional provisional ballots. Uh, so thank you to everybody who was a who was a volunteer. We really had a good effort and a good turnout uh, this time, and that that makes a real difference. So uh, my sincere thanks to all the volunteers. Thank you. Uh, we do also have uh, the. Martin Luther King Jr. commemoration uh, banquet coming up. Uh, I went ahead and purchased tickets. Uh, we uh, always get a table at this event. We always have a presence there. Uh, the tickets, we have a table with 10 seats available. So if you would like to uh, go and sit at the Lowndes County Democratic Party table and uh, support this, uh, the tickets are $30 a piece. So if anybody would like, is there anybody who thinks that they might want to go? The food is amazing. Uh, so we already got a couple that are interested in going. Um, so if you're interested, we're all okay, fantastic. You can get the tickets from me. Um, but we uh, we always like to have a showing. So What's the date? The date is uh, Saturday, January 7th at 6 p.m. It's at the Rainwater Conference Center. And they put up great decorations and have some great speakers. And again, the food is fantastic. So just let me know if you're interested in a ticket. Uh, next, uh, I just want to say, uh, I want to say thank you to all the uh, officers over the past couple of years. Um, if you wouldn't mind, maybe even Dennis stood up. Glenn, would you uh, 